Welcome back to BNN Channel 9 News. I'm Delaney Wall. And I'm Annabeth Wood. Today is February 11th, National Friend Day. I don't have any national friends. I only have local ones. Now for news. Today for lunch, we'll have Wild Mike's Cheese Bites, a hot ham and cheese sandwich, fresh baby carrots, seasoned green beans, fruit and milk. A representative from the U.S. Marines will be in the cafeteria next Tuesday during all three lunch periods. There will also be a representative from the U.S. Navy available at lunch on Thursday to answer any questions you may have. Seniors, if you want to perform or be a presenter at this year's Golden Bear Awards, plan to audition March 1st and 3rd. We'll have more info soon. National Honor Society and Interact Club treated teachers to chips and sodas on Monday to show love to MJ teachers. The lovely sign said, you're all that in a bag of chips. It did not say six bags, Mr. Peach. I'm hungry. We'll be back after these announcements. The modern HBCU marching band style dates to June 1st, 1946 with the creation of Marching 100 at Florida A&M University. The band was founded by the school's fourth band director, Dr. William P. Foster. He and the Marching 100 pioneered a new style that entertained audiences with high stepping, horn swinging, and showmanship infused with black culture. HBCU marching bands often coordinate band-wide dance routines and perform a mix of musical genres and songs made through black culture and excellences. Welcome to the signing of Casey Pizzotta to Cumberland University for Cross Country. Casey, cross country is a sport that relies heavily on training and self-discipline. What kinds of challenges have you faced that have made you into a stronger runner? Um, yeah, cross country is very much a, you know, sport where it's all mental. I mean, yes, you know, you have to have the physical to run, like the endurance, especially for cross country, you're doing like 10 miles plus sometimes on a day. You have to make sure, like, yes, you have to be physically, you know, ready for it, but mentally, you have to be there, you know, you can't just say, oh, I'm going to go on a 10 mile run and, you know, six miles in while you're doing that 10 mile run, you're going to be like, just turn around, just turn around. It's fine. No, you have to be like, we can do this. You're going to, we're almost done. You know, you just have to be mentally there. I think this, this sport is more mental than physical to me. What have been your favorite parts about running for the Golden Bears cross country team? You know, I've been doing this sport for a little while and running for this school especially has just been, you know, one of the best, you know, my team. I love running with my team, I, you know, you know, uh, this school, I think it's just a school. I don't think I would want to run for any other school. Like, this is just my home. This is where I feel safe. I would never want to change the world. I would always want to run here if I could. What are you looking forward to about running at Cumberland? I'm really like ready for a new chapter, a new change. I'm gonna really miss high school. As much as I say I don't like high school, I'm really gonna miss high school a lot. I'm gonna miss my teammates, you know. I'm just really gonna miss my coaches and everybody who's supporting me through this. And I know that I'm gonna have much more support for Cumberland, but I'm super ready for a new chapter for Cumberland and see what I, ha I can do there. Parents, you have been able to see Casey's hard work behind the scenes. How do you feel knowing that her dedication has earned her a spot on a collegiate team? As parents, family, siblings, everyone's just very, very proud of her. She's come a long way um, from when she started in the sport to where she got herself all the way up into high school and got an awesome commitment to go to college. So we're very proud parents. Parents, what are some of Casey's qualities outside the sport that make her a strong student athlete? Uh, Casey just refuses to sink. She is just a, a go-getter, 100% uh, of the time, sports, academics, work, uh, making sure that family-wise everybody is taken care of, somebody needs help, she's there. She's an amazing, outgoing personality, so we're very proud of her. Coaches, what would you say are Casey's strongest qualities that will set her up for success at the next level? Uh, her determination, she, uh, she refuses to give up. She's uh, actually developed into an exceptional leader. Uh, she was someone that anyone on the team, uh, man or woman, 
had no problem coming and talking with Casey. Um, if we ask Casey to do something and to relay it to the team, uh, we know that it would get done. What kind of a legacy do you think that Casey will leave on the team as she continues her athletic career? Uh, she's left a big legacy on Mount Juliet. Um, I've coached Casey since eighth grade. Um, and just to watch uh, the young woman that she's grown into, I'm extremely proud of her. And I can't wait to go uh, see her run for these coaches that come. Mrs. Sharp, is there anything else you would like to add? Well, I need to say ditto what Coach Pruitt has said about you, Casey. You are a leader, and not just on cross country, but in our building. You definitely carry yourself like a leader. You carry yourself with uh, a lot of confidence and uh, excellent character, and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Casey, you've had a great career here. You ready for your next career? Yes, I am. sign. Teacher conferences will be held at MJHS on Tuesday, February 15th from 4.15 to 7. These drop-in conferences should be limited to 10 to 15 minutes. Communicate with your teachers if you would like a longer conference. Teachers, please make sure to fill out the form regarding your attendance at graduation. This is a requirement for everyone in the building and needs to be completed by February 18th. If you have any questions, please reach out to Mr. Strickland or Ms. Maxwell. If you are a new teacher this year, please find a time to meet with Ms. Maxwell to make sure you have all your teacher regalia taken care of. Seniors, cap and gown pictures will be taken in the Commons on February 22nd. You can get your pictures taken all day. Thank you for watching BNN Channel 9 News. I'm Delaney Wall. And I'm Annabeth Wood, and we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, have a, a fantastic, fantastic Friday, Friday MJ. MJ.